Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Slack with ServiceNow. First thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, slack.com if you don't have one already. Uh, once we do that, let's go to the top left corner of our Slack and uh, go to browse Slack. Once we are here, let's go all the way down to apps. Now. Uh, in this search window, we can try uh, ServiceNow. As you can see, ServiceNow for Slack is available. So let's go there, add to Slack, and just click on add to Slack. And this type of integration is done. We can also use automate.eo. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And we want to go to integrations. Once we are here, uh, the pop-up window will show up and we want to go to the bottom left part and see all categories. In this window of uh, search from 200 and more apps, we want to go and we want to write it down Slack. Uh, as you can see, a new generation communication and so on. Now we have to uh, pick the counterpart, which is ServiceNow. We click on service now. There's a couple of popular integration among those two, but if you won't be able to find any, just keep scrolling down, create your own integration. That's where we are. Just remember, underneath the triggers on the left part, you want to start with Slack. On the right side, on the other hand, underneath the actions, you want to start with uh, service now. So let's go and let's go with the first one, like add a record. Once you hit try it now button, you will get redirected and you just have to log in with your service now, uh, with your, I'm sorry, with your automate.eo account and you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. That's uh, not the only way though, we can still use zapier.com and at zapier.com you also need to create yourself an account and you want to go to the top left corner and you want to make a zap like this. You can name it or you can jump straight to the integration. So let's start with Slack here. It works basically very similar to Automate. So uh, the process is very, very similar and familiar. Uh, trigger event, we have to pick for from all of those. Continue. Now we have to log in with the account that we created. At Slack, continue. Is there any bots? There are not any bots for messages. And now you can test the trigger. Now we can jump, jump straight to the action, as you probably thought. Well, let's go with the service now in this window. Uh, there are only two events, so let's stick with the first one, continue. And the last thing is you have to sign in to service now. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.